upon us and a lot of people are out walking, doing other activities. And occasionally I play golf, not very well, but I play it. And I have some friends who, for whatever reason, maybe they're feeling more charitable this year, or maybe they just don't have enough people to fill their foursomes and they've called me and asked me to play. So what I did was, there are a lot of golf apps out there um, but I found that they require, you know, to be GPS so that they give you the yardage on the course and so on and so forth. But I found that they drain the battery a lot. I'm more concerned with just keeping my score. I have a lot of faults in my game, but this will help me see what clubs I need to practice more and more with. So I came up with this score sheet or scorecard. So what I've done is you can see that I have columns A through T. In column A, it's the, the number of the whole, 1 through 9 with an out score, 10 through 18, an out score, and a total. And it, it just pretty straightforward, okay? Um, the second column is the par for the whole, and this you can update, obviously, if you play different courses. You can save it or whatever you'd like to do. But you update that depending upon the course you're playing and what hole and what the par is for that particular hole. So I filled that in for a particular course that I played. And the total. Now, I put the total here rather than at the right because this way I can freeze. If you notice, you see as I slide over and up, those columns are frozen. Uh, so they stay in place. Now, how I've done that is those are columns. So remember, if you go to our format and table, headers and footers, then you see rows and columns. So you see, if you go to headers and footers, you see headers and rows. So headers, just one. That's row one. And freeze rows is turned on. Column headers, I have set to four, which is A, B, C, and D. And freeze, that's how you do that. We have the total, which is the total score for that hole. Points, uh, sometimes I play with a group of guys where we get points, especially it kind of evens out the teams. If you have good players and bad players like myself, what happens is a double bogey, you get no points. A bogey, you get one point. A par, you get two points. An eagle, you get three. So that's over in column T. I just noted that. What I did here was I originally started with the driver in column E and worked my way down to putts to column P. Then I decided, you know, um, I wanted to do it the other way around because I tried it on the course so now what I do is, here's my driver. So if I hit one drive, or if I, as you can see down on hole number 10, I hit two drivers, all right? And so I just post the number in there. And, you, you know, you come up, tap on it, and you get the number. Now, this works very well on the, on the phone. I'm doing it here on the iPad, but it works very well on the phone. Put in your number, and then you just... Slide over if you hit a three wood, five wood, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine iron, pitching wedge, sand wedge, and then to your putter. And it totals it up in here. As you can see, it just the total is E2 through P2. That's all it is. The points that becomes a little more interesting and I have column R and S open here but when you're done with this if you hide those columns it helps just just so you don't inadvertently go in there and type something so if you look at the formula in column S it's very interesting I use a if S function it says if C2 is equal to zero, then nothing. It just puts a blank in there. Otherwise, R2 is minus three. So, 
let's look at R2. R2 is B2, which is your par, minus C2. So if R2 is less than 1, give me a 0. Less than a minus 1, rather, I should say. Less than minus 1 gives me 0. So you see this hole, I had an 8. So that's more than a double bogey. So the score is 0. If R2 was equal to minus 1, then it would be 1 point. If R2 is equal to 0, then 2 points. So then... What happens if you, let's look here where I have a point of one or here I have a point of two. All right, so what this says here is if C10, which is where we are, so I have a five there, that's the par, and my total is five. So what I'm saying is if R10 is equal to zero, so R10 is equal to zero, then I get two points. So let's look at R10. R10 is B10, which is the par minus C10. It's a par five, my total was a five, gives me a zero. Therefore, because it's a par, if you look at our scale here, a par is worth two points. So I get two points. That's how that is. Uh, and, and I'll use that all the time, but you can, if you use that, this, that's the functionality, and those are the formulas that you need. It's a if S, then you're zero, because you want it to be, if nothing is in there, if you don't have any scores in here yet, because it's a blank sheet, you want that to be blank, rather than come up with a triangle with an exclamation point in it. That's why I have that in there. And then here's that formula. And of course, notice that after each, uh, instance you have a comma to start your new cell location like first starts out with c10 equal to zero then i want a blank comma r10 is less than a minus one give me a zero comma then if r10 is equal to minus one give me a one if r10 is equal to zero then give me a two i'm never going to get a three well, I mean, hope it springs eternal, but that's why I didn't put the three in for the formula. All right, so that's that. So how do you hide these columns? So click on the column, column actions, hide column about three quarters of the way down. And you can leave the points here if you'd like, or you can also hide that column. Okay, so now when you're looking at this scorecard on your phone, it's pretty condensed and you don't have to worry. And the, the formulas will function even though the columns are hidden. So then all you do is when you get out on the course, you put in your pars and then you just slide over and whatever hole you're on, you go to hit your driver. You can pull your phone out of your pocket, comes right up. Type in your one and go to your to your ball. Then you can just slide over and whatever your next club is, whether it's a three wood, a five wood, or whatever it is, if you tap in it, make sure your number pad comes up. You type in a one, two, three, four, whatever it happens to be, and it'll just calculate your total. Then what what it does, if you look where it says out, I didn't total the pars down, but you could total the pars down. That would be, if you want to compare your out score, get a total in there. The total column is just adding your total all the way down. So for the front nine, I have a 51. Now, point-wise, um, I scored five points. Now, what this system does, depending upon how good a golfer you are, the better golfers have to score more points, and it's usually divided by front nine, back nine. If I have to score, let's say, based on my inability to play the game, I have to score a total of six points for the 18 holes. You would do three and three. 
you can put in as a note that I have to make three on the front and three on the back. And you can see that all I did was I just totaled all of my numbers to get the five. And here you do the same thing. You just total them down. And then here you just add the two together. And then what I did was I totaled here. You total each club. Now, the reason I did this, so I had a total of 42 putts. So you see 18, I had four putts, not so good. But um, you can see most of the others, I that was the only, uh, two, another hole, the fourth hole, I had four putts. So two holes, I had four putts. And you can see the other clubs. You can see the numbers. So you can use this to create a quick chart. And it'll show you what clubs you use the most and how many, you can see the numbers I have. And I have 42 putts for 18 holes, uh, four sand wedges, 16 pitching wedges, three nine irons, seven eight irons, one seven iron, one six iron, three five irons, three, I'm sorry, 10 three woods and 19 drivers. So you can look at this chart and see, okay, you need to work on your short game, you need to work on your mid-range game, so on and so forth. And, like I said, this fits very well on your iPhone, works real nice, and you don't need any GPS or anything. Um, we can talk a little bit later on how to create the chart. So, the series that I'm using is down here, the last row. I'm just taking all of those. And that's what it's doing. It's breaking out into a 3D pie chart. It's just straightforward. It may help. It may not help. I don't know. I'm going to see. But the scorecard definitely will help me, um, A, to keep my score during the round, and also to help me hone in on where um, I need to do more practicing. Okay, so here we are on the iPhone. Now, you can see I have two tabs golf card and golf card one this is where i just duplicated it all right and so if i wanted to put in a new course i could and i would still have the old one now you say well that's kind of small but what i wanted to show you in this particular screen is that you can scroll to the left and up and it's very easy to use now all you would do is make it larger and very easy to operate no uh, relatively no wear on your battery. You can change anything you want just by while well, you hit edit. Hit the number pad. You see how the number pad comes in? And if let's just say this was one, and then you would just go over to the next number, and then as you fill it in, you'll see now the points go to three because it's a par five, and I had a four. So that's a birdie. So that's three points. So, um, and then you can just go along and fill in as, as you go. And once it's blank, you can, uh, I'll show you, if we delete all this, go back here. And if I delete everything on the, on the sheet, and then say cut, right? You see how it says not available, right? So that's like say when you're starting out. So if you go over to driver, go over to driver and we put in a one and now you'll notice over here you have the exclamation point. Now I left that there because that's an easy way to know what row you're on for that particular hole so you don't get confused and type it into another row but so i hit the driver and let's say i hit a seven iron one and then go over and then come over and see it's going to show you two but the points are going to be um and it's an error because it doesn't match what we put in there. And then I say I put, well, let's just say you can come in here, and I hit uh, three putts. All right, so that gives me a total of five. It's a par five. 
I get two points. As you can see, I think anyway, that it, it works very well. And you can size it however you'd like, whatever you get you know, used to doing. And it's right on the iPhone. It's pretty nice. So I'm going to try it. Let me know what you think. And if you have any comments or questions, please let us know. Thank you very much. And we'll see you soon.